Israel's police commissioner announced this morning he's been secretly meeting with his Palestinian and Jordanian counterparts. It is part of a joint effort to strengthen the rule of law in the region. Issues on the table range from fighting terrorism to managing large demonstrations. The officials also met with American police chiefs, including Boston's Ed Davis and New York's Ray Kelly. Senior correspondent John Miller has been a top official with the FBI, the NYPD, <laughs> and the LAPD. John, good morning. Go good ahead morning. and say it. You're Superman. Go ahead. Is there anything you no. can't do, John? Did I ever wow. tell you about my time with the Israeli police? Yes. No, I did not. Oh my so tell me about what, all of this. And so what this is this is remarkable, Charlie. Um, you know, when we talk about law enforcement cooperation across agencies, that's kind of routine in America. But the idea that the Israeli National Police, their commissioner, Yohanan Danino, or his counterpart, the police commissioner for the Palestinian Authority, uh, th these are two men who hadn't met, who'd never shook hands, are now talking about joint operations. You know, they'll start with something small on Route 60 for traffic, uh, and they'll move on to narcotics, and eventually terrorism and intelligence sharing, probably. But. But the idea that this was brokered and how it happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. So, like, who, like who reached out to who to put this whole thing together? Well, I, I think the reason it worked, um, if it's going to work, is because it wasn't done by big governments. This was a quiet police think tank in Washington, the Police Executive Research Forum, mm -hmm. which is a you know kind of privately funded uh, group. And Chuck Wexler, the executive director, said, you know, we work with both of these police agencies over there, but can, why can't we get them together? Yeah. He went to the chief of security in Jordan. Um, he, went to the, he went to the sergeant of arms at the Senate, who used to be the head of the Capitol Police, and said, you know King Abdullah. Mm -hmm. Can you get his security chief to come over, his police commissioner, to be the, the broker? Mm -hmm. So he gets them together. And then he starts bringing out the sheriff of Las Vegas to talk to them about joint operations, <laughs> right. Ray Kelly. Ed Davis came and gave the Palestinians and the Israelis a joint briefing on the Boston bombing. Think about the optic of an American police commissioner briefing the Israelis on how to handle a terrorism incident. I know one quick thing here. It is that having covered negotiations among Israelis and Palestinians for a long time, they all know what the end settlement has to be, but they know it has to begin on the ground. Well, that's it. And, you know, this isn't a negotiation between agencies. That's happening way right, up in the right. government. But this is the beginning of a partnership where they do what police agencies do, which is confront common problems and criminals who don't exactly. recognize those borders. And show they or, can work together. Exactly. So remarkable, remarkable morning in Israel. Thank you, John Miller.